Thanks for joining us today. You're listening to the Women in Art Community feature by Chelsea's Boutique. This is a place where we talk to women who inspire and empower us and are doing amazing things within our community. I'm Carly Uthi Leither, and today we are so excited to have Kendra Keene joining us. Kendra is an amazing young woman with so many big ideas. At only 14 years old, Kendra is spearheading her first all-girls engineering camp that will be held here in Sioux Falls over the next few months. And her ideas, they don't stop there. Kendra is a full-time student, she participates in numerous activities, and yet she still finds time to be a regular 14-year-old. I think that Kendra surprised us on so many levels. Uh, Before the interview, we were expecting a shy, timid young girl, and she turned out to be a confident, bubbly young woman with so many great ideas. She was so inspiring to us on so many levels. We believe Kendra is a true embodiment of what our motto, Women Empowering Women, really means, and we just can't wait for you all to fall in love with her and her ideas and her personality just as much as we did. My name is Kendra, and I'm 14 years old. I enjoy um, problem solving and like engineering, plus I play softball, and I'm a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. Do you play slow pitch or fast pitch? Fast pitch. Good for you. I did too. A long time. I loved it. I miss it every day. <laughs> what position do you play? I'm a pitcher. Pitcher? I caught. Oh, fun. Yes, we'd make a great team. What else do you need? <laughs> do you play for the school or, or do you play for like the city league? Um, I play a, I live in Brandon, so I play for a summer team that's in Brandon, and then I also play for the high school this year. So what grade are you in? I'm sorry. I'm a freshman. You're a freshman in high school. So, uh, when we were kind of reading a little bit about you, and actually Chelsea turned us on to you through the bakery. She does a lot of work at the bakery. Um, and Clint there, and yeah. those fun, mm-hmm. awesome people we did Lisa last month. Oh. Um, so, they mentioned that you're very involved in Girl Scouts. Yeah. Yes. So, tell us a little bit about when you joined Girl Scouts. Um, What's your title? What do you kind of um, do? I actually joined Girl Scouts when I was in preschool, and I've been with it ever since. And right now I'm a cadet, which is the third highest like age thing that you can get. And actually how I ended up with the bakery is we do this thing called a Gold Award project that you start working on when you get into high school. And it has to be like a take action project, so it has to be sustainable and it should deal with like helping girls or your community. And so I decided to do um, engineering camps because as I mentioned before, that's something that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. And for, I'm doing three mini camps and then I'm gonna have a big camp. And that's exciting, we'll talk about those camps soon because I wanna hear all about those. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, how would you say Girl Scouts has kind of helped you to transition or kind of facilitate your engineering or your, your goals with engineering. Well, Girl Scouts has a lot of <clears throat> has a lot of like opportunities that you can try out new things and it kind of helped to help me decide that I like engineering more than I like drawing. Because and, they give you both options. Sure. What would you can you give us maybe a little definition of engineering? Like as you see it, how do you what is engineering to you? I just see it as something that you can do to express yourself. It can be anything. And, yeah. and you're kind of, so you're kind of making things work out of yeah. like nothing, yeah. essentially. That is the type of brain that I do not have. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad some people yeah. have it. <laughs> um, what, what gave you the idea to start in the engineering well, I myself um, know that there wasn't a lot for me besides Girl Scouts, like growing up, that I could go to like engineering camps, and I want all girls to be able to experience it, even if they're not in Girl Scouts. What do you think? Why is that so important to you? I just want to make sure that if someone does happen to be like another Albert Einstein, that they're able to show it and not have to keep it hidden because there is nothing that they could try. 
Why do you say Albert Einstein? Is that a, is that a nickname? Do people call you that? No, I no. Just, <laughs> just okay. That's curious. I thought that was cute. Um, is there someone that you look up to or that you're influenced by? Maybe in the engineering kind of field, but then also more on like a personal level? Um, I don't know too many like engineers myself. There are a few of them um, that are going to help with my camps that I'm looking up to them now because they were talking about how they were like the only girls. There's like two girls out of 500 people in their engineering classes and they still ended up like on top. And I think that's really cool. That's got to be kind of a hard thing to work out also being the only or one of very few females in the kind of group. But it's also kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun to be able to show people up sometimes. Like, hey, I can do this too. Yeah. You know? I think that's, that's a great thing. That's really fun. Um, so it seems like, you know, as we were kind of learning a little bit about you, um, that you have just a lot of big ideas and all these, you know, things that you want to do. Um, what do you think the future holds for you? Or like, what is something that you're really excited about well, in your future? After high school, I'm really hoping to go into some sort of engineering in college. And I really, I haven't decided yet, but there's a few. And I just hope that I'll be able to like get into school and then pass and get a good job as an engineer. Would you say so mechanical engineering then? Um, most likely either composite materials engineering or explosive engineering. Okay. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about those? What what would um explosive engineering would be like kind of making bombs? Pyrotechnics like, um, kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and composite materials is like testing out the strength of things, I guess. Like okay. like for one thing it's softball bats, that's one thing that they can make, just making sure that if you hit a ball at like this speed, it's not going to crack in half. They test those out. Oh, so like the inside of a bat is made yeah. of composite material. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> learn something new every day. <laughs> is but, there like a dream job? Like, so you graduate college, you can do whatever you want. You can work for any company. Is there one like specific thing or one specific place that you're like, yep, that's that's where I want to be? Not really yet. Yeah. Haven't no. thought about that so much. <laughs> Do you like ask me yeah. when I'm 20? I know. I know. I know. Um, I'm 25. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometime we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about taekwondo then. So how would you say um, the discipline with that hobby has helped you to where you are now? Because I know taekwondo is like a it's a very disciplined yeah, practice. Like at the school I go to in Brandon. There's times where you can like joke around and have fun, but then if you like go too far, they'll make sure to let you know of it and like you better be like standing still if someone else is talking and not like talking while other people are talking and it just helps to like shape you into a better person. So you said that you're a black belt? A third degree black belt, yes. Third degree. So what does that mean? What do you have to do to <laughs> she's like <laughs> hold the phone? <laughs> So you go through all of your color belt stages, and that takes about a year to two years to get your black belt. And then after that, you can go up degrees. And then, so like first degree, you have to be a first degree black belt for a year before you can test for your second degree. And then second degree, you have to be a second degree for two years, and then you can test for your third degree. And then you wow. can go up all the way to an eighth degree. And then there's one ninth degree in the world at a time, but you have to be Korean born and there's this one family that kind of like has them all, I guess. And then if you die while you're the only ninth degree, then you get honored as a tenth degree. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a lot. That's really cool. Yeah. So this is, yeah, so the, as a black belt, you've been a black belt now for how long? Um, four, four years. About, yeah. yeah. I was trying to do the math in my head and I got lost. I <laughs> think four years. <laughs> four years. So Taekwondo, Girl Scouts, um, engineering camps, do you find that they overlap with each other? Um, like Taekwondo requires a lot of discipline. So does Girl Scouts, I would say. Yeah. You know, um, do you think they'll they'll benefit you in the future and your goals, obtaining I your goals? I think so because like where Taekwondo mainly focuses on like discipline and like protecting yourself, Girl Scouts also focuses on the part of like 
working with groups and like being kind to others. So they kind of like come together to just make you an overall good person. Yeah, you're getting the best of both worlds yeah. and independence then, and teamwork. Yeah, so, and yeah. softball as well. I mean, that plays right into that too. Mm -hmm. As being, you can work on an individual level, but then you can also do yeah. great things in a in a team situation as well so that's, that's really cool and it sounds like you've been doing and you've been in activities forever yeah. so you know so it's you have that background of always being busy so that I feel like that's huge I mean a lot of people don't have if you're not doing something I feel like you might be bored and not you know what I mean? Yeah, that I get that sense? a lot, especially if like school's out. I'm like, okay, we gotta go somewhere. Yeah, so just sit around. Do yeah. something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. awesome. Keep doing that. Yeah, that will that's hard work. A million miles. Absolutely, absolutely. What about engineering? Do you love so much? What's your What's your favorite part? Um, so far, I know you have a long way yeah. to go in that career, but. With engineering, I really like the part how um, there's a lot of challenges that come up. I don't like it if it's easy and tells you, like, do this, do this, do that, okay, you're done. I like to have to, like, experiment with it a little bit and be like, okay, this way didn't work, let's try it this way and do that. What was what was the first thing um, we heard that you took, you have been taking things apart forever since you were yeah. super young? <laughs> what was, do you remember what the first thing you took apart was? <laughs> um... Let's introduce your sister. Maybe she remembers. Yeah. You want to tell us what your name is? My name is Kayla, and I'm Kendra's older sister. I don't remember the first thing she took apart, but I remember when she was probably like three or four years old only. She wanted to saw out the bottom of my dad's jeep so she could put a little box in there. Like that a you cubby could, part. Because she saw a commercial for a new vehicle that had a compartment under the seat. Underneath the seat. <laughs> Oh my god. So you'd stash all your toys under there and no yeah. one would ever know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, wow. Don't start out with a big project. Yeah. 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 yeah, ease your way into it. Take apart dad's Jeep. <laughs> did, um, did your parents let you? No. No, it, did, it didn't I happen. ended up just taking like wooden blocks and I like glued them or taped them together or something because they wouldn't give me anything else. And I just like set it in there so I could stick things underneath. <laughs> did you ever get into any trouble? When you were growing up, like I, trying to take things apart, and your parents were like, yeah. "What are you doing?" <laughs> I think I tried to take apart this like calculator one time, but my mom was using it at the time, so she started to yell at me. That's fun. Has she ever taken apart any of your your stuff that you were not happy with? <laughs> not that I remember. Good. She's probably <laughs> taken things apart that she hasn't noticed. <laughs> You'll find out someday. <laughs> someday. They're in the Jeep. Yeah, <laughs> the, the secret department. <laughs> so, Kylie had found, and this kind of touches on that also, that you're into robotics yeah. as well. Is that a that's, that's actually a what my first camp's gonna be? Is robotics? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, the camp or both? Okay. So with the camp, um, there's gonna be like three different robots that they get to build there, and some of them you can revise to be like different robots but it's all like one thing and they get to make those there and take them home to continue playing with it and then I have larger things like there's something called a mechanoid and um, it's a G15 is what it's called and it's like a two foot tall robot that um, responds like voice commands and you can name it I name mine sprinkles <laughs> and <laughs> he'll like if you like bring up his arm he'll like walk with you or he'll like talk back, he can tell jokes, you can dance, you can like record movements, that way he can do something again. And they'll have a chance to play with that. And then you also have another robot robotics thing called um, Little Bits. And they come with a bunch of different pieces. And like I said before, I like how you can like put something together and see if it works. Well, this one gives you some ideas, like you could do this or this, but then you can also experiment with it and put whatever you want together. And it just comes with a bunch of different parts so you can like wire it and it can do all that stuff. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. How, how are you, so you're going to do this for the camps, how are you getting the materials and everything like that, that to, to provide to the campers? Well, right now, um, the camp's actually $100, so that covers okay. the stuff that they get to bring home and a little portion of the extra sure. stuff. But then right now, my parents are helping me pay for it, and then since I am doing four camps, I'm also looking for donors for some of the bigger things. Awesome. Is there a way that 
people can reach out to you to donate and find um, something that... Yeah, I actually have a website, um, www.girlengineeringsf.com, and there you can either sign up for the camps or there's a section where you can um, find out how to donate, and then if you want to, you can donate through it. And And is that something you're doing through the bakery as well? I know yeah. Chelsea was telling me a little bit about um, grants that you can pitch an idea to this board for the through the bakery. Yeah. Is that now is that what you're working on or have you done um, that or yeah, that's actually gonna be um, towards January, I think like the second week of January or something like that. We'll go and they'll have what they call the shark tank. And it's kind of like they'll have a bunch of investors plus other people. And you'll get up and you'll pitch your idea for three minutes, and then you'll um, have like your station set up with all of the things we've done throughout the three months I think it is that we were in the um, the oven program, and then so investors and other people can come up and ask you like questions about it, and you won't know it's investors because they're not gonna be like, hi, I'm an investor. They'll just kind of talk to you, see what your project's about. And then if they like it, at the end, they can, like, come up and you guys can have more of a conversation after it, and then they can decide if they want to invest or not. Does that make you nervous? That's just what I yeah. ask. Um, <laughs> it makes it me makes nervous. nervous. <laughs> it makes you like, we're sitting here like, oh, my gosh. A little bit. But um, with the bakery and the oven program, I've done a lot of things that I would have never thought about doing. So now I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's part of it. You just got to go and do it. And, not That's fun. They've kind of helped you yeah. get out of your comfort zone a little bit and expand. Do you, do you have any other ideas that you would love to do as like a startup other than just the engineering camps? Um, I've actually thought about that a little bit, and I don't really have any ideas in my mind, but I think it would be fun to do another thing. Keep going. Yeah. If you have yeah. the means. Yeah. 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 Uh, how do you see the development of technology benefiting your generation in the future? Well, even from like in the past to now, technology has come so far with like smartphones and things like FaceTime. And I think that it's just going to continue to improve and maybe we'll get like hoverboards and stuff. And then even with that, we're going to get like smarter TVs. And are you now, are you, are you leading the camp? So are you kind of the instructor of everything? Yeah, I'll kind of like run them through things like, okay, we're going to start with this project and kind of like show them examples and stuff that I've done. But then I'm going to have a few older people there who are going to talk about like what it's like to be an engineer. And then um, we'll all kind of like help them with what they're doing. And so it's going to be kind of like a team effort, I guess. When do they start? Um, my first camp is on December 29th, actually. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. And I had three girls signed up for that one, which it's a good start. That's a great start. Yeah. 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 What is, now, what is the age, age range? Is there a certain... Um, fourth grade through sixth grade. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And, and is, is it going to be at the bakery? Um, no, actually. It's at a place called Mathnasium of Sioux Falls. It's mm -hmm. um, in the bridges, I think. Yep. And it's like help math tutor and they're giving us the um, place for free actually so to kind of get like their name out there also. I'm so curious what do what do like your teachers and what do they think of I mean you're 14 and you're starting engineering campus like I, like it baffles my mind and like so what do you what do your like teachers and parents and family members and sister what like what do you think about like you're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like what do you what do they think about it or what do they say my teachers I don't really tell them about it or anything but like with my parents and even my family members they're all thinking like oh this is so cool but me myself I'm just thinking like this is just something I want to do I don't think of it as like out of the ordinary or anything that's awesome I mean wow. that's yes. humbling yeah very very much so so we talk a lot about empowering women you know and just really doing the best that we can to make sure that feels awesome and super great about themselves. What would you say as a as you know as a 14 year old, what would you say empowering women or empowering girls means to you? Um, I think it's maybe just like making sure people know that they can do whatever they want to do. Even if you're just like a 14 year old girl, you can still help people and change things. 
Isn't that, have you found that's kind of a bar been a barrier for you? I know in, in my personal experience, sometimes people look at you, you know, and they say, well, she's, she's 25 or she's 14 or yeah. insert any young yeah. age under 40, <laughs> you know? And yeah. Um, but it hasn't been as big of a thing as I thought it was going to be, because, like, at the bakery, they kind of just, everybody's everybody. Like, you do your project, and I'll help you if you need it. Otherwise, you can do it. But, um, I don't know. I haven't really run into anything where people are like, oh, I don't think this is going to work because you're too young. Most people are like, you guys are really like, oh, this is awesome. You're only 14, and you're doing it. And That's good. That's great. That's yeah. what I wanted to hear. If you could give million dollars to a charity or to, you know, some sort of organization, what would you give it to? Do I have to give it all to one place? No. Um, I don't know, I'd probably like split it in half and give half of it to probably like the children's hospital just so they have a chance, like the kids there, they have a chance to like go up and do things like I am. And then I really like animals, even though I don't have any because my parents think we're gone too much. But I'd probably give half of it to like the Humane Society or something. I'm not allowed to go to the Humane yeah, Society. Yeah, because I will come yeah. home with all of the cats. Yeah. Uh, yes, my money would go to the same places. Yes. <laughs> Ditto. So just kind of, we'll wrap up here with a little bit of you know some some fun questions aside from the others. Chapstick. Or lip gloss? A chapstick. Which flavor? Any. Any? Yeah. Any chapstick? Chapstick right now. Oh, it is. It's dry up. It's chapped. Yeah. <laughs> is there a celebrity, a politician, or like an entrepreneur that you look up to? Um, I guess. I, I really like country music, so I like like Carrie Underwood and Miranda Lambert. I especially like how, even though, well, Miranda Lambert was married and Carrie Underwood's married, they still, they don't need their guys to be with them all the time. They can do things on their own. Do you have a style icon? Is there someone that you know? No. no? You're like, I do whatever I want. <laughs> I wear a lot of yoga pants and sweatpants. Well, you look adorable. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you. I can't even wear heels, so I'm impressed. What do you think? What would people say is, and maybe you can weigh on in, the, in on this too, but what is the most interesting thing about you? Like if you could only give one sentence about what the most interesting thing about you is, what would it be? A lot you of seem people, really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say I'm like talkative and bubbly, like I'm always happy. She's just <laughs> really outgoing and yeah, easy to get along with, not afraid to talk to anyone. Yeah, I was, I was personally was expecting like a very shy, quiet, 14 year old, like timid girl, and mm -hmm. that is not. No. I'm pleasantly surprised. I talked to one great. Yeah, no, that's great. No, we were. Yeah. What do your friends think about all of your plans and ideas? And I actually didn't tell them, but I was on the news <laughs> twice for um, my projects, and one of my friends um, found the second interview. And she thought it was just the absolute coolest thing, and she went around and she told all my other friends, and they all thought it was cool too. And they're like, "Wow, this is awesome!" And she's like, "Thanks." <laughs> you sound very modest. Like you don't want people to know about all the great things and ideas that you've got, but you should be modest. I mean, no, you've got shy things. Yeah. yeah, and we're gonna help you do that with this. That's, Thank you. you Want to give us like a one more like rundown, lowdown of your camp and what it is, and the website, just like one one big blurb that we can maybe put at the end. Just yeah. so people get the final, what is that? Like an invite. Yeah. Who, what, when, where, yeah. Why? Yeah, so thing. the camp, the first one is on December 29th, and it's from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Mathnasium of Sioux Falls, and then that's all about robots, and then my second camp's going to be from 9 to 3 on in February sometime, and that's going to be all about cars. My third camp is in April. And it's all about rockets, and these are all at Mathnasium of Sioux Falls. And then my fifth camp is a week-long camp, actually, in June. Yeah, Summer June, camp. I think. Yep. And that's going to cover over six different types of engineering. Okay. And where can people register if they want to be a part of um, the camp? They can 
Um, go online at my website, www.girlengineeringsf.com, and then there, there's a button that you can click on sign up, and it'll send you the registration form, and it tells you all the information, they just have to email, or mail it to us. And you said fourth grade through sixth grade. Yep. Actually, for my first camp, I have three girls, and it's a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth grader. Oh, how oh, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, fun. yeah. I like kind of test out the grades. Yeah. Kendra is just so inspiring to us because she is a true example of empowerment. Kendra is a student, a Girl Scout, an engineer in training, softball player, black belt in Taekwondo, I mean, daughter, sister, the list could go on. But most importantly, she is a true role model to everyone and no matter the age. We are so thankful to have met Kendra and we are just so excited to watch her grow and see what the future holds for her. We know that it will be nothing short of amazing and that's for sure. Another month, another empowering woman. Thanks for listening. If you have someone that inspires and empowers you, nominate them to be featured by sending us an email to wioc at chelseasboutique.com.